Okay, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and the Facebook group Everything is Food. And as you can see here, I am making um, brunch. Since I am nocturnal, it is brunch, not breakfast. Uh, I'm using my uh, uh, large rectangular cast iron um, griddle. One side is flat, this side is flat, the other side is has ridges, it's a grill. And here I am uh, going to make eggs, sunny side up eggs. Um, uh, I am using my large rectangular uh, well seasoned cast iron pan. Okay, cast iron griddle and grill. The top part is the uh, the griddle, flat surface. Underneath is has the ridges, which is the grill. And there's a moat, you can't really see it, but there's an indentation along the right side um, where the excess fats and oils can drain. Uh, here I'm using bacon fat from, from the bacon that I, I laid down. I could have put more bacon, but uh, I'm uh, cooking scrapple, a, um, a side dish that is uh, very uh, little known with today's generation, but uh, it is a popular American breakfast side dish made from pork. Uh, so it's scrapple, and here I have a platanos maduros, which is a ri fully ripened plantain that I'm making for myself along with the scrapple as a side dish and I will make the sunny side up eggs for me and uh, family mem a family member and uh, I really love this um, cast iron griddle grill because I I bought it a long time ago years ago I saw it there wasn't many left there were only ten dollars each so I grabbed one immediately at National Wholesale Liquidators which is a uh, popular local chain and uh, and this uh, steel barbecue spatula with wooden handle I got at a dollar store naturally for a buck uh, one side is serrated for cutting so it's an outstanding value you never know what you're gonna find at dollar stores you really never know and you have to have uh, sharp eye for values so I grabbed it and this is where I made my uh, pancakes yesterday I made a uh, whole wheat buttermilk sourdough pancakes on the flat side on this side of the uh, the cast iron griddle grill now for um, for those of you that are wondering how you season cast iron which happens to be my all-time favorite cookware uh, you really don't have to follow the instructions that come with the company. What I do is for the first week after you wash it and dry it on the flame. You, you cannot towel dry it. It's not enough. The, it'll, the cast iron will get rusty. So what you do is you just you scrape it. You don't wash it or scrub it with soap. You just remove with water and scraping. Clean the surface. Of course, if you get a brand new one, it won't be black. It'll be like a, like a steel color. So you, you wash it and you always dry cast iron on the flame, on a high flame. Because you must get all the moisture out, otherwise it will get rusty. And that's all you do. And you, you, What I do for the first week, I add high fat food, like bacon. Add bacon, like cook bacon every day. And the fat from the uh, bacon will turn the cast iron uh, cooking utensil, the, the the skillet, or the deep fryer, or the or whatever is cast iron, it'll start turning it darker and darker, and eventually it will get black. That's how you season. The easy way, actually, to season a cast iron pan is to use fats um, in cooking on the cast iron pan, and it will season automatically. There's no need to to uh, rub rub it down with lard and put it in the oven or anything like that okay and then after the scrapple bacon and plantain will get cooked uh, like I said before two slices of bacon is not enough I only added it for the lubrication of the, 
the pan and uh, and also because I have four um, squares of scrapple which have some fat in it also all right so that's it I just wanted to show you what I'm doing for today's uh, brunch uh, this um, video is for my wonderful large culinary group on Facebook everything is food so take care have a good day